Hi, I am Carter Mason. Uh, currently, I'm the CEO of JTS.TV, Just the Story, a premium online network. But this video is about a very personal issue, not about business. It's about the fact that I've had a major health struggle that's difficult to talk about. And once people find out exactly what you're going through, they treat you differently. And I have decided now is the time to share for many reasons. One, it's been ridiculously too long for a lot of my friends that I don't talk to every day to really know what's going on. And it's been rude of me to tease you this long with just saying I've been having surgery, doctor's appointments, scans. So I want to share everything. And that's part of the reason for the timing. Another part of the timing is that I've come to realize that because this issue is so difficult to discuss and that people treat me differently, people need help. 50% of all men and 40% of all women get the disease that I have. If current statistics hold true in the future, it could get worse. It could get better. A cure might be found that's a cure all. Some people are cured. Some people aren't. In late 2013, I started having stomach issues. I wish I had gone to the doctor once I had recurring issues. I beg you, no matter where <laughs> your issue is, if you're having a recurring issue, get your butt to the doctor. By July, I had a bowel obstruction um, that kept me from having full movements. The doctors originally, initially thought it was diverticulitis, gave me some antibiotics and painkillers, sent me home. And a few weeks later, I was feeling better, but still wasn't having full movements. And right after the Hot as Hell web series event, awesome event in Palm Springs that I went to, very thankful um, that I got to have that great weekend before everything went crazy. In fact, the night I got home, I was throwing up. The next day, I went to the emergency room and was told I had to have emergency surgery. The next day, they removed part of my colon. And five days later, after I had still been told they thought it was diverticulitis because of my age, the pathology came back that I had colon cancer. And then it spread to lymph nodes, and that made it stage three colon cancer. Right before I started chemotherapy in late September, I had another scan and an MRI, and it had spread to my liver and abdomen. I got the dreaded diagnosis that I was stage four, and I've learned a lot <laughs> since then. And one thing that you all need to know right now, because now that I have openly and publicly stated that I'm diagnosed with stage four colon cancer, it's not. A death sentence guaranteed I am not a dead man walking some people treat you like that and you shouldn't I know people that are stage four in remission and survived years I know people with recent diagnosis and I know people that recover and then all of a sudden cancer comes back it is a fickle bitch and it sucks December was dark. I was told I would probably be a typically people with my stage or on chemo the rest of their life. I was having a particularly difficult treatment cycle. Um, I am fortunate that I, as you can see, don't lose my hair. Um, some types of chemo you don't. I haven't been nauseous. So the steroids they give you, I've actually gained weight rather than lost weight. I don't look like a cancer patient, but... I'm looking at you as someone with a diagnosis of stage 4 colon cancer. And I'm on the path to recovery. In fact, where December was dark, January brought new hope. The li a liver surgeon at UCLA, which is, I hear that they're the best in the nation, the liver surgery department, um, feels that the spot on my abdomen is probably left over from the previous surgery. It was very messy surgery, the emergency surgery. I was in the hospital for 17 days. There's a lot in my scans that they attribute as a possibility to that. And um, if they're right about that and the A plan goes through for my surgery next week, next Monday, very excited. I'll have three more months of chemo to get rid of anything that they can't see. 
and then just scans for five years. As long as I'm clean, I'll be considered cured. As I said before, cancer is a fickle bitch. I believe that's what's going to happen. There's, I'm realistic that there's a lot of ways it can go, and I'm ready to respond and deal with it. I've, had, I've been blessed to have friends and family that have come and supported me in so many different ways. I, I got a referral from someone who I really met through social media and got into UCLA Health out of the hospital system I was in, and it's probably saved my life. Thank you to all of you who have sent energy, done things for me, prayed, believed for me. I believe for me. Couldn't have done it without you. My girlfriend, my family, they've all been such an amazing support in this time. And I want to pay back the support and love and encouragement I've been given and help people. Because people don't know how to talk about cancer. They don't know how to deal with it when they get it. And I think I can provide a unique perspective. And so I'm going to do a series of videos. If you follow me at Carter Mason on Twitter or if you or friends with me on Facebook, or you just want to follow me on Facebook, because I post almost everything publicly. You'll see those videos. You'll also be able to subscribe via YouTube when I set everything up. Um, for now, thank you for watching. You want to know how you can help me? Reach out to me if you need help talking about cancer or understanding it. And um, there are probably other ways that you can help and uh, I'll let you know if you ask me privately what I need um, but what I need most is just continued positivity and pray for me big surgery for me next week I'm very excited and it looks good so thank you all for listening and I am so appreciative thank you